Here we have the Echo Air Artica Mark II 8000 BTU Wi-Fi enabled air conditioner. We're going to unpack it, unbox it now. In the box we've got the exit uh, shoe and we've got, oh this is the uh, remote control. And that is uh, where it attaches to the back of the unit. Um, so, oh, that's the um, drain from the floor, from the rear. Let's take this out. So this is uh, Uh, these two bits are where it uh, goes into the wall, I presume. Yes. Right, uh, if we, uh, let's go down. There it is, uh, just out of the uh, packet. Out of the box. Uh, here you can see the control panel. Looks quite a neat piece of kit. Let me put the drain to adjust the resistor feet.
Right, let's stop filming for a moment. The uh, cool uh, machine, the uh, air conditioner, is uh, now working and you can see it makes about as much noise as a tumble dryer or a dishwasher. You can see here I've got it connected uh, to a vent in the wall. It's fairly easy to make this connection. It's easier than uh, uh, putting the hose out the window. You can see the hose is quite a, a large hose. Here you can see the, the um, temperature that I have set it to go down to 20. And here is the actual room temperature on this thermometer which is 24. So it's got uh, four more degrees of cooling to accomplish yet. This is outside the house and you can see this is the uh, uh, extractor and there's warm air coming out of here. This is Wilkie the cat. Yes. Well boys, do you reckon it's your boysy time? Yeah, boysy time. Gosh. That's it. You enjoy your boys. Robbie's uh, had a nice lick of a packet. He's licking the packet across the floor. Go back to your bowl. I have moved the air conditioner to the kitchen and I've made it so that the pipe uh, goes out here uh, to the outside through this vent. The uh, hot air is coming out of this vent here and you can hear the sound of the air conditioner. But, but from out here, you can, all you can actually hear is this sound of the, uh, through this vent. If you come to where the door is, you can't can hardly hear it. Now we'll open the door. We'll go inside. You can see that it is actually making quite a lot of noise. Um, now we'll go out of the room, and you can see that the noise of it isn't actually that loud. And we'll come back here. We'll go into the uh, sitting room. We'll close the door and you can see uh, once we're inside the ro this room here you can hardly hear the sound and if you listen you can hear the clock ticking even. With this uh, air conditioning unit you get this controller which is like a television uh, remote controller which has an infrared uh, means of connect communicating with the uh, device. So now we can hear uh, the unit running outside, out here in the kitchen. You can see that you don't really want to be in the room where it is situated. Now you, now you can see here the temperature is set to 17 degrees which is uh, what this is showing here. But what I can do now is simply turn this off from this remote control You can see at once it, it obeys the instruction. This is where it connects the back of the uh, unit. You can see it's just a simple push fit. Uh, it's, you need two hands to move really. 
can't do it with one hand, I don't think I can hold the camera simultaneously. Yeah, that just slides off. And that's where the, the uh, hot air comes out. This is the other end of the pipe where it connects to the uh, wall. Um, what I've done here is I've cut a piece of uh, chipboard and I've fitted two repair plates here so that this can just simply connect to this. If you look here you can see there's these two catches. They simply go fit in under here. If you look closely here you can see that I've just cut out a notch here and a notch here to allow that to fit. There is a YouTube contributor who suggests that you uh, use one of these um, uh, electrical, uh, um, what do you call it, these electrical things to, to make a little clip to fit. I'll show it like that. And then just twist this out of the way to allow this to be released is what he suggests. However, the method I've used is to use these uh, repair plates from B&Q and I think that's a little bit easier, but it's a bit more work uh, to install it. What I did is I cut this out with a router and then and then, then fitted this as you would a, a hinge uh, plate. But it seems to be um, quite an effective once it's, it attaches. It's quite more firmly attached than it would be if you attached it with these uh, things which I think may be affected, um, which might not last, I think they might break or something. The air condition is running and uh, you can see uh, the temperature I've set is 20 degrees. The temperature in this room is 23 degrees. And the temperature outside is 26.5 and rising. The forecast temperature for today is 29. So I'm going to see if it does actually get to that temperature and if the air conditioner does cope with it. The time now, as you can see, is half past 11. The temperature is 25 degrees outside. Here we see on the laptop computer the forecast temperatures for today. You can see here that the forecast temperature for 12 o'clock is 24. It's already above that at 25. It looks as though it's going to be up to 26 uh, by uh, 1400. So we'll have to see if, they, if that uh, does prove to be correct. This is the forecast for Thursday. And you can see the temperature is going to be even higher that day, up to 30. So we're going to see how well the uh, aircon copes with that. It's now 10 to 2. And the exterior temperature is now 29.6. And the interior temperature is 24 and the uh, air conditioning unit is still set to 20 degrees. Well, it's now gone 3 o'clock. The temperature outside has gone up to 30.5 and the temperature indoors is 24 and the uh, Air conditioning unit is still running with uh, being set at 20 degrees, so it has reduced the temperature in the house by 6 degrees. Today is the day of the heat wave, and Boris Johnson has just been appointed as Prime Minister. It's uh, 20 to 9 in the morning, and already you can see the temperature outside in the shade is 27. The temperature indoors is 24. The uh, air conditioning unit is set to 20 degrees and we can see here that the temperature in this room is with the dehumidifier uh, air conditioner running is 23 degrees and we've got 55 percent humidity. The way that I have got this running is to have it uh, rigged up just to vent into the conservatory. I've got all the windows doors in the conservatory open and you can see here I've just got it rigged up I've got it attached to this uh, photo flood stand. And you can see here I just uh, pegged up a tablecloth to stop the hot air going back inside the house. I mean, since this is only a one in, in a rare occasion of an extremely hot day, uh, I just thought I'd do this as an experiment.
where it's now coming up to half past ten. And the temperature outside has gone up to 28.6. The temperature in the living room is 25. Aircon is set to 20 degrees. The temperature in the room where the air conditioner is is 21. So you can say it is definitely controlling the temperature. Right, it's now coming up to half past two. And now it's 32 in the shade on the north uh, facing window. The temperature in the sitting room is 26. Out here the air conditioning is still running and the temperature is 23 and the humidity is 57. So we can say that between the temperature of, th of 32 Celsius outside and 23 inside the air conditioning unit is actually doing a good job. The temperature is uh, now 28 indoors. It's now half past four. You can see it's 28. But you can see the temperature outside is 35.1. Aircon is still running. The temperature in the room where the aircon is, you can see the temperature here is uh, 24 in this room. Well. The heat wave is now over, and uh, the cat's sitting out in the rain. The aircon is now parked in the hall, waiting for the next heat wave. Thanks for watching.